Snapchat you built. Hey guys, it's Joshua Peterson with Peterson Electric are here today doing a video for you for my SEO guy. This will be a November 2nd of 2022. Um, the complaint is, is that the pole lights sitting out in Loveland or like this 1940 10 home I did back a couple weeks ago had a porch light, but this is typically the pole lights. Certain places in Loveland, even Fort Collins have an old UF cable buried underneath and they say, hey, my wire went out, who's responsible? Um, you're responsible if you're the homeowner and I'll explain to you why. I'm also gonna explain a little simple term of how to fix it, but if you don't know how to tone it out and figure out what's going on, you should call us. Um, if you do do things yourself, yeah, be careful. There is no disconnect for that wire and you could definitely hurt yourself. Um, anyways, here we go. I'm introducing you to you today. I've got my uh, son here in Juanito, trying to train them guys today. Um, my two clowns out here working, definitely giving me some raz. Say hi. Hello. Hello. Okay, and this is my daughter, Michaela. Hi. She's helped me for the last three years holding the phone for the video, so everybody say thank you to her, because she's my camera woman. She just turned 23. Anyways, here, Kayla, take over the video here. Okay, guys, so real simple. This wire, back in the day, was encased with a conduit, a pipe. And it took 30, 35 years, and it eroded, right? So that metal nicked the UF cable. And my, my boys kept digging deeper and then pulled out because they wrapped it all up and they pulled it out. We're at 18 inches here. We are going to today, we taped that wire to protect it in two spots because it barely got nicked. We used a heat box, that box. Okay, and then we're sleeving that wire in a piece of Schedule 40, three quarter inch makes it easier, easier. stand back now. And then we're taking a pylon and we notched it. We're slipping that over and putting the wire in the conduit here. And then we're going to protect that in the center. So number one, the cement doesn't affect it in time. And number two, we get more stability rather than just putting cement in a trench, okay? And that wire that's nicked will always be protected in the conduit. So we don't have to worry. If we had to splice it, I told her we need to come back with our Kubota move all this, dig it out deeper, put a manhole and then daisy chain and jump it and put a manhole there or move the whole wire that way and not nick it and have the post over there. But as of today, it's gonna to work just fine. She ordered a post. This post will then therefore, this conduit get cut and this post will be the center of cement. And then we will cut off that conduit, probably lower, boys, are you listening? lower than here so we can put the rod through because there's a rod that goes through for flag and a photo eye and then the post head. So this will end up going in, look in there, like that. Okay, so that'll protect the wire, the conduit, the cement, and this post. And if it rots in 30 years, it'll probably just break off. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Oh, one other thing real quick. Um, I'll show you this. If you're looking for that photo eye, you usually have to call utilities. And it's gonna be typically on your meter. If they put it in and it pops their fuse the first time and the photo eye, you have a short. And um, sometimes it goes out. If it does go out underground, you would have to hire a guy to direct bore, or I would have to pipe along or pull in the attic if you have a ranch, pipe along, come down that gutter and then retrench out. Or just think of putting your post over by the mailbox. But look at this. This is all cement here too. So those kind of type of areas make it real difficult. So anyways, yeah, maybe we could have come up and then came out and then put a post closer to the house. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Hopefully that'll help you out. But yeah, call utilities, see if they can put in a fuse because they don't let us in there in a photo eye. If, if it pops, we'll have to come out and trace it out. If it tones out that it's melted and 
there's continuity between the hot neutral and ground, then you got to start over. Thanks, guys.